Yeah, last week everyone can see this. Yes. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the wedding of Nana and Neil. My name is Anwar. And my name is Hakim. And we'll be your MCs for today. Now, can we get everyone to the table? We can get you to stand up. We'll be welcoming the family of the groom as well as the bride. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Nama saya Hakim dan saya akan <laughs> uh, saya pengucara pada hari ini. Okay. Buah pau. Mari dekat. Alamat petang boleh dimakan. Pada yang jauh dan juga dekat, selamat datang kami ucapkan. Tanam serai berumpun-rumpun, disiram air setiap hari. Lemah gemalai, hayun tersusun, maklumlah dipanggil raja sehari. Marilah kita berdiri untuk menyambut kedatangan pengantin lelaki Neil McNulty sama keluarganya. Can we welcome the family of the groom? Waktu pertama kali ku lihat dirimu hadir rasa hati ini inginkan dirimu hati tenang mendengar suara indah menyapa geluranya hati ini tak ku sangka rasa ini tak tertahan hati ini selalu untukmu terimalah lagu ini dari orang biasa and now let's welcome the family of the bride and the bride herself hari hari berganti kini cinta pun hadir Nenamu memandangmu bagai bidadari Lentik indah matamu Seni senyum bibirmu Hitam panjang rambutmu anggun terikat Rasa ini Tak tertahan hati ini selalu untukmu. Terimalah lagu ini dari orang biasa, tapi cintaku padamu luar biasa. Aku tak punya bunga, aku tak punya harta Yang ku punya hanyalah hati yang setia Tulus padamu Hello.
this, this. Shall we begin? Sure. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Before we start our session, let us all recite Surah Al-Fatiha and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless this majlis insha'Allah. Ala hazi niyah wa kulun niyatin salih al-Fatiha. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawmiddin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. Ihdina as-sirat al-mustaqim. Surat al-lazina an'amta alayhim ghayr al-maghdubi alayhim al-attalleen. Ameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wa al-mursaleen. Sayyidina wa maulana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Qala subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'allamtana innaka anta al-alim al-hakim. Qala rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri. Wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Faya'ibadallah ittaqullah. Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu attaqullaha haqqa tuqatih. Wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. My dear brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, we gathered here today to witness the solemnization of our beloved brother, Mr. Neil McNulty, and to our beloved sister, Miss Nabila binti Abdul Rahman. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will make ease of this majlis, inshallah. Ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. As we all know, marriage is part and parcel of the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam and our prophet mentioned to all of us an nikahu sunnati faman raghiba an sunnati falaysa minni marriage is part of my sunnah and whoever does not follow my sunnah has got nothing to do with me also in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned to us that marriage is a strong and solemn covenant which is a mithaqan ghaliza I would like to state that in Islam, the marriage of a man and a woman is not just a financial and physical arrangement of living together, but it is a sacred contract, a promise that you not just made with each other, but also with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The main goal of marriage is the realization of tranquility, which is sakina, love, which is uh, mawadda, and also compassion, which is rahmah. To achieve this goal, Islam highlighted and defined certain duties and responsibilities for, and also the rights for the husband and the wife. For the husband, your duties are not just by giving alimony, which is nafkah, but it is also your solemn duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to treat your wife with kindness, with respect, and also with love. It is also your duty to love her unconditionally and show her the right path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Miss Nabila, one of, one of the wife's foremost commitments and chief duty towards your husband is to obey him in everything that is not unlawful. To guard his property and honor, to encourage him to do good and strive to be a better servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Marriage is a team effort. Both of you need to play your part to make this marriage a success. Treat each other with respect, with kindness, love and mercy. Be kind towards your parents, your family members, your siblings, for they are also part of your team. Hopefully we can all raise a generation that obeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Insha'Allah, ameen, ya rabbal alameen. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'ani al-Azim. Wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bima fi min al-ayati wa zikri al-hakim. Wa taqabbala minni wa minkum tilawatahu innahu fassa min alim. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah al-Azim li wa lakum wa lisa'ir al-Muslimin wa al-Muslimat wa al-Mu'minin wa al-Mu'minat. Fa astaghfiru fa ya fawza al-Mustaghfirin wa ya najat al-Ta'im. بين والحمد لله رب العالمين. Yes, please. Uh, put on that thing. Sure. 
Okay, Alhamdulillah. I think the wali is ready. The future groom is ready. The two witnesses also ready. Everybody is ready? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Have you done your lunch yet? Oh, no, not yet. In, in Malay tradition, we always eat first. Then we do our stuff. So, should we eat first? <laughs> okay, no. Before we start our nikah processes, let us all recite the istighfar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of our sins. And also, we need to renew our faith by doing our shahada. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless this majlis, insha'Allah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Astaghfirullah al-Azim Al-Azim Astaghfirullah al-Azim Al-Azim Nabila binti Abdul Rahman in this nikah and marriage for the mahar of a diamond ring. I accept Nabila binti Abdul Rahman as my wife in this nikah of my and marriage for the mahar of one diamond ring. So everybody, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Barakallahu lakum wa barak alaykum wa jama'a baynakum fi khair. Barakallahu lakum wa barak alaykum wa jama'a baynakum fi khair. Allahumma alqi baynama ulfatan mahabbatan wal widad wa ahdihima sabila taqwa rashad. Allahumma alif qalbahuma kama alifta bayna sayyidina Adam wa Hawa bayna sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam khadijatun kubra. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayun wa ja'al Inna lil mutaqina imama Rabbana ufir lana wali walidina Warahamhum kama rabbawna sigara Rabbana atina Fil dunya hasana wa fil akhirati Hasanatan wa kina adaban Nar Wa sallallahu ala sidina maulana muhammadi Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin I, Neil McNulty, promise to fulfill the trust and obligations as a husband towards my wife, Nabila Binti Abdul Rahman, as best as I can. I will endeavour to be a responsible head of the family and provide sufficient nafka in accordance to what I can afford, and to treat her with love, kindness and warmth, to guide her in seeking what pleases Allah and, ha and happiness in this world and the hereafter, and together with my wife, raise a family that is founded on taqwa, tranquility, love and mercy, inshallah. May Allah grant me strength and his guidance to fulfill this trust. However, should I fail to carry out the above or have wronged my wife, then taklak tak pronouncement is as such in order to protect my wife's well-being. On every occasion that I, Neil McNulty, leave my wife, Nabila binti Abdul Rahman, for a continuous period of four months or more, intentionally or unintentionally, or fail to maintain her for the said period, whether she is obedient to me, or commit any actions that causes injury to her body, or damage to her property, 
or cause her to lose self-confidence, and my wife complains that she should hear a court and her complaint is proved, then she is divorced by one talak. I seek Allah's protection for me and my wife. As husband and wife, we ask our family members for the sincere prayers for us that this union will last till Jannah. Amen. It's good that you let me know. Maybe it was the text. Yeah. Yeah, so one time. Three more. Three more. Three more. Okay, alhamdulillah, we come to the end of the nikah session. I would like to congratulate both Neil McNulty and Miss Nabila binti Abdul Rahman. For now, you have become husband and wife. Please give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect both of you, inshaAllah. Amin ya rabbal alamin. Rabbana taqabbal minna du'a'ana inna kanta s-salamna alim. Wa tuba alayna ya maulana inna kanta tawabu rahim. Da'wahum fiya subhanakallahum wa tahiyyatum fiha salam. Wa akhiru da'wahum ni alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Taqabbal Allahu minna minkum. Thank you so much everybody. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
I'm the volume, which they say. I'm the volume a bit. My family is really helping out all that. I think louder. Yeah, yeah. No, is it Hoang Dui first?
dari selatan membawa kabar dari sultan akan datang nanti serombongan dari seberang layar dari belakang mati singgah sebentar di pasir panjang sungguh menawan hati redup sayu saujana mata memandang hai telok belang Tempat bersejarahlah indah rakyatnya bersantun di bahasa teruna Siapa memandang pastikan tertawa liut senyuman si gadis serupa gerak tangkas pasti teruna berani itulah kenangan. Hai di teruk berada Puteri bertuduh Bersopan santun Menari zapin Teluk berada Budaya dijunjung Di martabatkan Supaya masyur Di sepanjang zaman Puteri bertuduh Bersopan santun Menari zapin Di sepanjang zaman Pelayar dari belakang mati Hingga sebentar di pasir panjang Sungguh menawan hati Redut sayu Saujana mata memandang Hai telok melana Namanya tempat bersejarah Lagi indah Rakyatnya bersantun Budi basah teruna Siapa memandang pastikan terkawan liur seniman si gadis rupawan gerak tangkas pasti teruna berani itulah kenangan hai di teluk berani puteri bertudung bersopan santun menari sapi teluk berani budaya di Di sepanjang zaman Puteri bertuduh Bersopan santun Menari zakir Telok berlana Budaya dijunjung Di martabatkan Supaya masyur Di sepanjang zaman Earn SO Small Points with every pub Choose from rewards like bubble tea treats to shopping vouchers or airline miles. Sign up to be an SO Smart. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now the uncle. Right? 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, one of the uncles of the bride will perform a short traditional dance and martial arts to honor the bride and groom. Thank you so much for that wonderful performance. Ladies and gentlemen, the couple now will be taking... Oh, there will be a special performance now. Oh, We will have another performance of the Silat, which is the traditional martial arts and dance by the uncles of the bride. I'm 
Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom will just be taking photos of only the couple. Please feel free. The family photos and photos with the guests will be later. Alright, please feel free to enjoy the buffet and uh, enjoy yourselves and have some free and easy time for now. Thank you.
always forget that you can't read my mind As long as I got you Aku di sini padamu Sekali lagi padamu Ku bawakan Rindu yang kau pesan utuh Aku di sini untukmu Sekali lagi untukmu Percayalah Tak perlu lagi kau gundam 
pun aku merasakan Getaranmu mencintaiku seperti ku mencintaimu Sungguh kasmaran aku kepadamu Hidup adalah tentangmu Selalu saja tentangmu Sepertinya kau adalah candu bagiku Kau buat aku tak mampu Selalu saja tak mampu Menahan perasaanku atas dirimu yeah, yeah. Pun aku merasakan getaranmu Mencintaiku seperti ku mencintaimu Sungguh kasmaran aku kepadamu Pun aku merasakan getaranmu Mencintaiku seperti ku mencintaimu Sungguh kasmaran aku kepadamu Kepadamu Pun aku merasakan Getaranmu Mencintaiku Seperti ku mencintaimu Sungguh kasmaran Aku kepadamu Pun aku merasakan Getaranmu Mencintaiku seperti ku mencintaimu Sungguh kasmaran aku kepadamu Kepadamu
You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven in touch. I wanna hold you so much. At long last, love has arrived. And I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Caught in the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare. The sight of you leaves me weak. There are no words left to speak But if you feel like I feel Please let me know that it's real You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes over you
Say she want party, so can we make this place go higher? Talking about head now, head now, head now, head now. I go, I go, I may. Talking more fina, I na ne. Talking more fina, ne. Start my truck, let's all jump in. Here we go together. High school breeze, big palm trees. I tell you, life don't get no better. How was I to know? It's a crazy thing I showed you my hand And you still let me win And who was I to say That this was meant to be The road that was broken Brought us together And I know You could fall for
Yeah, yeah the bride and groom are going to walk in if we can have you to. Uh, ladies and hello, hello, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The bride and groom are about to walk in. So, if I can get everyone to uh, be standing at your table, actually, and not seated, that would be great. Thank you very much. Follow, just follow these instructions. Yeah. Height. Anna, you're going by height rank. <laughs> okay, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the family of the bride and the groom. Sometimes you get what you've always been wishing for and most times it's not on your deadline, but that's alright. I was worn out and jaded from trying on people to love, but you fit so well. When they ask, I can never explain, but a symphony played when you told me your name, and I took that as a sign. Will you be mine? Beginning, my middle, my end. Will you be mine? Beginning, my middle, my end Will you be mine? Beginning, my middle, my end Will you be mine? 
Sometimes it's hard to see what the future holds And most times it's not like a steep climb And that's alright, there's magic in details The tender small gestures of love That you fit so well Okay, and now may we invite the bride and the groom for cutting of the cake. Ladies and gentlemen, the cutting of the cake. Swish.
Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom finally get to enjoy the beautiful food that's set out for them today. But at the same time, we are going to invite the family of the couple to start giving their speeches. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please take a seat and we will have the family of the bride and groom to start giving their speeches. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to be the father of the bride would like to give the first speech. So can we invite Mr. Rahman to come on the stage to give his speech? Hello, good afternoon everybody. To start with, I would like to uh, recite Bismillahirrahmanirrahim in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi Sayyidina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Rahman, Ilas father. I'd like to welcome all my family and friends, as well as family of Paul and Kim. Also welcome all the special guests who have taken the time to share this joyous day. This is my proudest, happiest moment watching her, Nabila, 
today and been able to reflect all the ways I watch her grow up. She was a very beautiful baby and happy kid. I'm lucky to have her and guide her as she grows up into the magnificent woman that she is today. She has captured my heart, my beautiful girl, my beautiful sunshine. I'm fortunate to be her, uh, for, uh, I'm fortunate to be her father calling me daddy. I got to flip a bit shivering now. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Come help me too. One second. Second. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Watching her great, watching her get married today to such a wonderful and amazing young gentleman. Neil, the two of you have just started a new and long journey that will be filled with love and happiness. Always be true, kind, and love each other. Your mother, sibling, and I are always ready to assist you in anything you need to succeed. I take this opportunity also to thank Paul and Kim for sharing this big day today. My, congrat my congratulations on your excellent job you did in raising Neil to be a true gentleman and charming prince to Nabila. I'm sure you are also proud and happy for Neil. From the bottom of my heart, we welcome Paul, Kim, Hannah, Callum to our family. Also, thank you to all of you accepting Nabila as a member of your family. I'm very happy that Nabila found the love of her life, that charming Prince Neil. Neil, I'm also lucky, proud, and happy of you being my wonderful son-in-law. I'm confident that you will be responsible and lovable husband I trust you will always keep Nabila happy. I'm very happy spending the entire afternoon with all of you. With this, I end my speech. Thank you. <laughs> May I call upon uh, Mr. Haji Shiril to recite the du'a, Mr. Haji Shiril. Thank you, Mr. Abdul Rahman. How can I refuse a request from my neighbor and also an ex-colleague? Small request for reciting the prayers for a lovely couple here. Please allow me. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Barakallahu laka wa baraka alayka wa jama'a bayna kuma fi khair. Allahumma alif bayna kulubihima. Kama alif baina ma'ai watin Waja'anna sula'ala suma naslan solihan ila yaumiddin Allahumma sarif anna wa anhuma al-bala wal-waba wal-mihan Birahmatika ya arhamar rahimin O oh Allah, our God the, the creator of his arash, the throne The creator of the galaxy And each creation that lives on this earth Bless both the newly wedded couple Neil and Nabila and unite them both in goodness. O oh Allah, soften the hearts of bride and groom as soft as sick, and make their offsprings and generation after them until the end of time among the good people. O oh Allah, protect the bride and groom and all of us present from diseases, trials and tribulations. Lengthen the matrimonial ties between the bride and bridegroom till the end of their lives on earth and unite them in the hereafter. O oh Allah, shower them with happiness, intimacy, and love as you have the prophets from before. Between Adam and Hawa, Yaakob and Rahil, Yusuf and Zulaikha, Sulaiman and Balkis, Musa and Safura, Ibrahim and Siti Sarah, and Suel and Siti Haja, and our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam with Siti Khadijah and Aisha. O oh Allah, 
grant them offsprings that are Soleh and Soleha that would become the pride of their parents, religion, race, and country. Amin. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa rabbil alamin. Thank you very much. Now we will welcome the cousin of the bride to give a short speech. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Alia and I am Nabila's cousin. Today I would like to congratulate Nabila and her husband on what must be one of the happiest days for them. My cousin Nabila is a very gentle and caring person. Whenever we have family gatherings, it is Nabila and my other female cousins that I look forward to meeting and spending time with the most. Nabila is an easygoing person and always seems happy to spend time with me too. I look up to her like an elder sister and appreciate all the stories and advices she has shared with me along the way. This past few years, I have missed being with her as she has been living overseas. But I am sure she has not changed and I am still the same kind and sweet person I know her to be. I wish Nabila all the happiness and success in her marriage. And may Allah bless her marriage and well grant all her wishes. Also, I would like to welcome her husband Neil to the family and hope he will bring Nabila back to Singapore often to visit us all. Once again, congratulations Nabila and Neil. And by the way, cousin, you look stunning today. Thank you everyone. Now we'll welcome the brother of the bride, brother of both the bride and groom now to give his speech. Hello? Yeah, this was last minute. Oh, I got to stand on stage. Stand to stage. Right. Um, so obviously, uh, we've come a long way, Nabila, since we were young, playing toys and Power Rangers. You know, so uh, I've... Um, of, I'm proud of what you've become, both on a professional level as well as in your education and uh, where you are now in life. Um, I was privileged to be able to go back to London to work and be closer to the two of you. Right? So we did spend some quality time and this, uh, it, was, it was nice for me to get to know the two of you. So, so I would like to wish you the very best in your future endeavours in this. And to Neil, welcome to the family. I've known you for new, a few years now, mate. You know, thank you for all the sacrifices that you've done. Um, it, it, it required some drastic change uh, to your daily life and the things that you can eat in uh, your lifestyle. And thank you for embracing the religion. Thank you for embracing the family. I know you're doing your best you know, to juggle both parties, the things that you've confided in me. So, so with that, uh, yeah, congratulations. This is your day. You know, um, enjoy yourself. Um, we'll definitely still will be in touch. You know, I'll still be in Italy and you'll, you, you can always come and visit me. Yeah? And to the McNulty family, <laughs> It's been a pleasure, yeah? Paul, Kim, Callum, Hannah. I didn't, and I didn't forget about you as well, yeah? <laughs> All right? Uh, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure. It's uh, nice to see such a close-knit family. And uh, Nab Nabila has been talking to me and telling me that uh, she's quite close to you guys. And you guys have been taking really good care of her, you know? So uh, thank you very much on behalf of the Raman family. Thank you. And thank you to everyone as well for, for being here. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Now we may we invite Callum, the other brother. Hello everyone. You probably recognize me as the man who was third in the queue of the children. <laughs> I'm Neil's brother, Callum. I'm aware how thick my accent is. You probably thought my sister was hard to understand. So I'll make this brief, I'll take it slow, and I'll keep the jokes to a minimum. But for my ego, if you see the Scottish people laughing, please laugh. <laughs> and I don't think the English can understand me any easier, can you? <laughs> so, I did have a large speech written down, but I'm going to keep it brief. 
Neil worked extremely hard to get to where he is now, getting his PhD. I don't know if many people here are aware, when he left school, he was actually a roofer for a year. He left school with no qualifications, possibly one higher. And uh, after that year on the cold, dark roofs, Neil decided that wasn't for him. So he studied hard for the next 12 years and he spent most of his days, most hours, in a cold, dingy loft, probably to remind him of where he didn't want to end up again. Arguably though, through all his achievements, his biggest achievement has been meeting and marrying Nabila, my new sister. I just hope you're prepared, Nabila, for a new life with Neil. I don't know if you're all aware, but Neil is actually a father. It's a cat called Smudge. <laughs> so, you're now, you're now Smudge's mother, Nabila, and I hope you're prepared. He is a very sickly cat. <laughs> you know, I thought the McNulty family was big. We have quite a large extended family. And it's an honour to add all of you that are here today to the family. So, I'll round this up. Welcome to the family, Nabila, my new sister. I'd like to say a special thanks to Nabila's parents and her brother for hosting us the other day. You made us feel very, very welcome. I think I was almost as nervous to meet you all as I was to do this speech. <laughs> so, as Neil's brother, this is the official hand over Nabila. I just hope you know he needs exercise four times a week. You'll need to feed him five times a day. And whatever you do, do not overfeed Smudge. <laughs> And uh, I would just like to give a mention to my gran, Lena, who couldn't make it today. My granddad, Neil, who has passed away some time ago, who Neil is actually named after. My nana, my pop, and also my papa, who just passed away recently, who was extremely fond of Nabila. And her family have heard all about him. He would have loved to be here today and he would have been proud to, co to make Nabila part of his family. Thank you all. May we invite Tosif now, the uncle of Nabila, to give a speech and give you this. Okay. Thank you. This is actually from Deanna and I. This is a little change of pace, so forgive me if I uh, step on some toes. But as the Texas representative of the Khan Abdullah family, Deanna and I are proud to share the news of your marriage. News has reached Texas and the American shores. So, Asalaamu As Alaikum. I'd like to congratulate the parents of the bride and groom for raising such beautiful, kind, smart, accomplished children. So you should be very proud. Nabila, I'm quite certain that you broke some hearts today in Singapore. <laughs> because now you're officially spoken for. Neil, have a quick look around the room. You've met the uncles. You know what they're capable of. You know Arif, they can kick some serious ass. My advice is have an escape plan if necessary. I quickly looked up Google Maps. You can borrow my tap card. The quickest way to Changi is bus 38, 24, or 133, right out the hotel. If you need to take the metro, you can take Town line, and I think you have to switch to the 24. Or you can take a grab. Grab is also good. Again, I'd like to welcome you to the family. I know this is a, a big moment in your lives. Uh, I think Deanna and I can share with you that life gets real now, and this is an adventure, so please enjoy it. Thank you. Congratulations.
Can we have a round of applause for Paul, the father of now both the bride and groom? Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, the game you played earlier on, I've got one more word. Could you go? Does anyone know that one? Could you go? Could you go? It means, could you go another speech? <laughs> do you want another one? Well, I'll keep it short. I will do. All I would like to say is thank you, everyone here. You've made us feel very welcome, and uh, it's really touched our hearts. And thank you to the meals, mum and dad, brother, sister, made us feel really welcome. Thank you very much. I'd like to give you a round of applause from us. Thank you. When uh, Neil and the Baylor told us they were getting married, I was, Kim and I were so happy. But I did need to speak to Nabila, and I says, are you sure? Are you sure, Neil? Is it? Are you sure? It's all right, even if you don't want to, you know, if you're not getting forced, are you? But no, she says, yeah, she, she really liked him, loved him, wanted to be with him, and okay then, if that's what you want. But you've made us very, very happy. We love you so much. We knew when we first met you. She's a beautiful person, isn't she? She's so nice, so kind, and so loving. So I, I'm really thankful that you're part of the family. Just like uh, Calum touched on earlier on, the families that can't be here from uh, Britain, that's England and Scotland, uh, all wish you the very best. And um, hope you the best for the future. There's um, one other thing I didn't know, but when I got here I found out that Glasgow and Singapore are the two greenest cities in the world. Did you know that? Yeah. Glasgow is actually Gaelic for green city. So there you are. That's an wee, wee fact for you. And um, I'd like to think that that means that their love will grow because it's natural and they'll go forever. Thank you. And I'd just like to say thank you very much for everybody coming today. You've made our day and best of luck for the bride and groom. Thank you. You invite the Nabila Najiba to give a quick speech. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, so as all of you know, I'm Nabila's sister, youngest sister. So I would like to take this opportunity to say a few words to them. Um, I always had a lot to learn and Nabila was like my biggest example of how to be. Through the years, um, as sisters, we have been through ups and downs together. No matter where life took us, love between us was always there through the best and worst of times. When one of us was crying, our love for each other comforted us. And when we were celebrating, like today, our love helped us to share the happiness with one another. Um, it is said that where there is great love, there are always miracles. And I love you so much, Kaka. Thank you for being the sister that I'm able to look up to and someone who I can rely to. <laughs> I'm honoured not only to call you my sister, but to call you my best friend too. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, yeah, I just would like to say welcome to our family, Neil, and thank you uh, to, family, uh, to Neil's family for coming over to Singapore and meet all of us. Um, I hope you had a great time in Singapore as well. Um, yeah, and Neil, thank you for making Nabila so incredibly happy and um, with great comfort knowing she has a man who's caring, loving and spontaneous and able to support her. Um, and be by her side. So I am really happy that um, to call you my brother-in-law today. Um, she's worthy of all the love in the world and I am beyond thrilled that she has found that in you, Neil. So on this special day, I wish the two of you the greatest happiness for the rest of your life and may your marriage last in Jannah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, there's satay served outside, so, so you please enjoy some more food as we give some time for the bride and group to have their lunch as well.
excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, now we have the honor of uh, another speaker who will uh, recite the du'a for us, none other than Haji Zainu. Persilakan. Shukran jazilan. Hadirin dan hadirat yang saya muliakan, izinkan saya menyampaikan pesanan dari Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam kepada kedua pasangan mempelai, yakni saudara Nil dan juga saudari Nabila. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam menyampaikan pesanannya. Di dalam sebuah hadisnya yang berbunyi, Iza tazawajal abdu fakadis takmala nisfa dinihi falyattaqillaha fi ma baqi. Yang bermaksud, jika seseorang hamba bernikah, ia telah menyempurnakan separuh dari agamanya oleh kerana yang demikian hendaklah ia bertakwa kepada Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bagi separuh yang tersisa kepada para undangan hadirin dan hadirat yang kami mulikan sekalian marilah kita memberikan doa dan restu kepada Kedua pasangan mempelai agar apa yang mereka impikan dan cita-citakan sebagai suami isteri yang berhasrat untuk berkongsi hidup bersama membina mahligai rumah tangga di atas jalan takwa kepada Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mudah-mudahan berhasil menjadi sebuah rumah tangga yang sakinah, mawaddah wa rahmah. Rumah tangga yang aman, damai, yang penuh dengan kasih sayang. Kekal jodoh mereka hingga ke arah akhir khayat, agar mereka berdua dikunikan zuriat anak-anak yang salih dan saliha yang dapat memberikan manfaat kepada kedua ibu bapanya agama bangsa dan negara insyaallah amin semuanya ini dengan berkat umul quran al fatihah bismillahirrahmanirrahim alhamdulillah rabbil alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Allahumma barik lana Allahumma barakuma wa baraka alaikuma wa jama'a baikuma fi khair Allahumma alif bainakuma kama alaf tabayna adam wa hawa wa alif bainakuma kama alaf Ibrahim wa Sarah wa Hajar wa alif bainakuma kama alaf tabayna Yusuf wa Zulaikha wa alif bainakuma kama alaf tabayna Sayyidina Muhammadin Rasulillah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa Khadijatul Kubra Allahumma balif Allahumma alif bainak qulubina wa aslih dhata bainina wahdina subul salam wa akhrijna من الظلمات إلى النور وجنبنا الفواحش ما ظهر منها وما بطن وبارك لنا في أسماعنا وأبصارنا وقلوبنا وأزواجنا وذريتنا وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وجعلنا شاكرين لنعمتك يا رب العالمين الله ما جعل جمعنا هذا جمع مرحوما وتفرقنا من بعده تفرق معصوما اللهم لا تدع لنا في مجلسنا هذا ذنبا إلى غفرته ولا هما إلى فرجته ولا كربا إلى نفسته ولا عيبا إلى ولا عيبا إلى سترته ولا مريدا إلى شفيته 
wala hajatan minha wa ij dunya hiya laka ridha illa qadaitaha wa yassartaha bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin rabbana alayka tawakkalna wa ilayka anabna wa ilayka almasir rabbana la taj'al fitnatan lil ladhina kafaru wa fil lana rabbana innaka antal azizul hakim rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaban nar sallallahu alaihi sayyidina muhammadin wa ala wasallam subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wassalamu ala al mursalin walhamdulillah rabbil alamin taqabbalallahu minkum
Mic test, mic test. Bye, bye Farah. Oh. Okay, good afternoon everyone. I hope you guys are having a good meal. Uh, me and my friend Brian, we're going to entertain you with like a couple more songs. So if you guys know any of the songs, do feel free to sing along. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Honey, honey, I can see the stars all the way from here. Can't you see the glow on the window pane? I can feel the sun whenever you're there. Every time you touch me, I just melt away. Everybody asks me why I'm smiling out from E to E. But I know, no, nothing's perfect, but it's worth it after fighting through my tears. And finally, you put me first, and baby, it's you. You're the one I love, you're the one I need, you're the only one I see. Come on, baby, it's you. You're the one that gives your all. You're the one I can always call When I need you, baby, everything stop Finally, you put my love on top Ooh, come on, baby You put my love on top Top, 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 top Baby, baby I can feel the wind whipping past my face As we dance the night away but your lips taste like the night of champagne As I kiss you again and again and again and again Everybody asks me why I'm smiling out from E to E But I know no, nothing's perfect, but it's worth it After fighting through my tears And finally you put me first And baby, it's you You're the one I love You're the one I need You're the only one I see Come on, baby, it's you You're the one that gives your all you're the one I can always call When I need you, baby, everything stop Finally, you put my love on top Alright, so um, in case everyone don't already know uh, The guitarist here is called Brian And my name is Rafi So if you guys know the last part of this song Or any chorus, if you guys want to sing along Feel free And ready? In one, two, and One, two Baby, it's you you're the one I love You're the one I need You're the only one I see Come on, baby, it's you You're the one that gives your all You're the one I can always call When I need you, baby, everything stop Finally, you put my love on top Ooh, come on, baby You put my love on top Top, 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 top you put my love on top Ooh, ooh Come on, baby You put my love on top Top, 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 top You put my love on top Thank you Okay, so the next song is called um, Isn't She Lovely by Stevie Wonder so um, this is a song about uh, from a father to a daughter. So I think this is dedicated from um, Nabila's uh, father to Nabila. So we hope you guys, if you guys know this song, it's a classic one. Isn't she lovely? So if you do, please feel free to sing along. So let's go.
Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Da 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 I never thought through love would be making one as lovely as she. Isn't she lovely? Made from love Isn't she pretty? Yeah. Truly the angel's best Boy, I'm so happy We have been heaven blessed I can believe what God has done To us He's given life to one Isn't she lovely Made from love Isn't she lovely Life and love are the same Life is not belong The meaning are the same Lord, it could have not been done Without you who conceived the world Isn't she lovely Made from love Last one Okay, so we are down to our last song. So the last song is a special one um, that we discussed with the bride uh, that we wanted to dedicate to um, Neil's UK family uh, and friends as well. And this is for uh, a song called I'm Going to Be 500 Miles. So if you guys know this song, uh, we, we learned this for you guys. So feel free to sing along with us. Um, yeah, and let's go. When I wake up, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's gonna get to you. When I go out, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. If I get drunk, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you. And if I have a, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's ever next to you. But I would walk 500 miles And I would walk 500 more Just to be the man who walked a thousand miles To fall down at your door do 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 When I'm working yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's working hard for you. When the money comes for the work I do, I pass my every penny on to you. So when I come home, oh, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes back home to you. And if I grow old, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's growing all for you. But I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. Do, 
When I'm lonely, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's slowly without you. When I'm dreaming, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna dream about the time when I'm with you. So when I go out, well I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. So when I come home, yeah I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who comes back home to you. And I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more just to be the one who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good lunch.
Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom are on the panel. Uh, the bride and groom are on the altar of the Palamin and they are ready to take photos with anyone that would like to take photos with the bride and groom. Ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, the camera crew will not be able to use your handphones to take the photos just because of COVID measures and they don't want to be uh, touching many, many people's phones as they interact with many people uh, day in and day out. Um, you may ask someone behind you in the queue if they are able to uh, take the photo for you. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, can we have the following individuals to be ready to take a photo with the bride and groom? Can we have the bride's family, Mr. Uncle Abdurrahman, Auntie Rohani, Arif, Najiba and Cheyenne, ready at the stage to take a photo with the bride and groom?
Ladies and gentlemen, can I have the bride's maternal uncles and aunts, also known as the Chombi family, on standby over here? Can we have the Chombi family on standby over here for the next photo? It's all the bride's maternal uncles and aunts. Maternal. Never mind lah, if they don't come in then Just a reminder, the next photo is going to be the maternal uncles and aunts of the bride, the Chombi family. Let's 
Okay, the next photo will be the bri bride's paternal uncles and aunts. Can we get the bride's paternal uncles and aunts to be ready in the front? Uncle, now he's Uh, can the bride, paternal uncles and aunts get uh, ready over here for the photo? Can we get the paternal side of the family to be ready for the next photo? Can we have the family, aunts and uncles of the paternal family to be on stage straight away? Yeah, Raman family, please. Can 
Najiba, are you in the ballroom? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, and now we will invite the bride and groom down to pour the drinks as well as give their speech. So ladies and gentlemen, we will start with the drinks pouring as well as the speech of the bride and groom. This is to make sure that it's caught on all on the live stream for everyone watching around the world. After we're done with the speech, then we will resume with the photo taking for the rest of the guests. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, now for the speech by the bride and the groom. Assalamualaikum, Bismillah. Um, I'll be the first to speak, and I think Neil, you have to get used to this. That I'll always go first, ahead of you. <laughs> um, I'll keep mine very brief and short. Just a very special thanks to our loving parents, Umi, Daddy, Paul, Kim, or can I call you Mum and Dad now? Yeah. <laughs> um, all of you have gone above and beyond. At, from the very beginning. Thank you for blessing us and loving us endlessly. We love you very, very much. To all our guests today, to, thank you for being here, particularly those from halfway across the world. Thank you for being here, for gracing us with your presence and celebrating this day with us. You've just made this day the happiest day of my life. Um, finally, Neil, you make me giddy on the inside. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> there is no one else I'd rather be spending the rest of my life with other than you. And now we get to be together forever. <laughs> I promise to always love you and stand by you, respect and cherish you forever and always. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, before I start, I want to thank the previous speakers for their kind words. Um, particularly my dad. Dad, I knew your speech was going to be hard to follow, and it was. I couldn't follow a word of what you were saying. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, ladies, gentlemen, family and friends, and Cheyenne. <laughs> Thank you all for coming here today. No, sure, thank you. The group of Angles over here, that means white people. Um, they've came all the way from London. Um, so thank you so much for coming to celebrate with us. Alex, Ali, James, Megs and Barney. Um, we really appreciate it. And thank you also for being such great friends and colleagues to Nabila. Nabila loves her job at Ashford and St. Peter's and that's in no small part because of the amazing colleagues that she's got. So thank you. I also want to thank Auntie Diana and Tausif, who have come all the way from Texas. I think you have won the award for having travelled the most miles. Although, if anybody's travelled further than Texas, let me know. Um, I, I, we are so pleased that you have been able to make it. And Auntie, I know Nabila was so overjoyed to hear you were coming. You've always been somebody she's looked up to, somebody she's inspired. And she's just so lucky to have an aunt like you. And if my sister and the Jeeba are half an aunt that, that you are, my kids are going to be very lucky. So thank you. I'd also like to, who else has travelled from afar today? Who else am I missing? Oh, I'll, give you, I'll, I'll give you a shout in a minute, no, don't worry. I'd like to thank my family from coming from afar. Mum, where's Dad? Has he ran away? This is just so typical of my dad. I get up to give a speech and he's not here. Um, mum, Dad, thank you for travelling so far today. My mum hates flying. Every time there's a bit of turbulence, she thinks that the plane is going to die, the plane's going to go down and we're all going to die. Um, so thank you so much for coming here today. Um, 
And thank you for your very generous financial contribution to today. Today would not be the same were not for that financial contribution, so thank you. And thank you for everything you've done for me throughout my whole life. From a young age, you've always instilled in me that to be a good man, I've got to be strong, I've got to be generous, I've got to be polite, and I've got to be humble. And I think I tick all those boxes. Uh, <laughs> so thank you for, for that. And thank you also for welcoming the Milan to the family. She's felt like a member of the family from the first moment, and that's because of you. To my amazing siblings, Callum and Hannah, the other I mostly want to wave. Um, thank you for being, thank you for coming here. My brother's in the process of moving to the other side of the world and Hannah has got a busy job. So I appreciate you taking time and the princess. I appreciate you taking time out of your lives to come and celebrate today. Um, there's a saying that no matter how old you get, you revert back to your childhood whenever you're with your siblings. And I think that's the way it is with us. And to Dick, Dick, you want to give everybody a wave? Uh, Dick is my sister's partner. Thank you. Dick is in second last year of medicine. He should be doing exams right now, but he's sitting right here. So thank you, Dick, for coming. And thank you also for being such a, a good partner to Hannah. I don't know if anybody in the family has ever said it, but we feel lucky she's, she's got you. You're, a, you're very generous. You spoil her. You're a nice guy. And... You're going to be a doctor, but most importantly, you're a, Celt you're a Celtic fan, so <laughs> so thank you. Right, who else have I got to thank? Um, I'd also like to thank my new siblings, particularly Arif. Um, so many of you might not know, or Arif mentioned it, but when Arif moved to London, he and I were neighbours. And in Arif's time in London, we spent a lot of time together. We became quite close, and to my surprise, we became friends. I never thought I'd be friends with a Chelsea fan. Um, so thank you for teaching me that not, not all Chelsea fans are terrible people, mostly. No, but seriously, thank you for being such a good friend and an even better brother to Nabila. And I'm honoured to now be able to call you my brother. To Najiba, is Najiba here? Dad, there you are. where have you been? I've been giving my speech for like five minutes. Uh, where's Najiba? Oh, okay. Uh, well, Najiba, I'm equally honoured if you're here to call you my sister-in-law. You're not only Nabila's best friend, although she is over there talking. Najiba. Najiba. I'm praising you. Thank you for being such a great friend and sister to Nabila. And I'm deeply honoured to now call you my sister. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> now, I've got new parents. Where's Umi and uh, Dad? Oh, there they are there. I've got to be honest, I was pet, I was so, so scared about meeting you at first, all those years ago. And I remember saying to Nabila, how can I get your parents to like me? What can I say? What jokes can I tell them? What can I wear? What can I buy them? And Nabila said to me, Sayang, just when you meet my parents, just don't try and be funny, don't try and be smart, don't try and be cute, just be yourself. <laughs> I thought I was all of those things, but evidently not. Um, but seriously, Auntie and Uncle, you've only ever been kind, you've only ever been generous, and you've only ever been supportive. And indeed, you are amongst my biggest supporters. So thank you for being so welcoming to me. Thank you for being so welcoming to my family as well. And thank you also for producing the most amazing, beautiful person I know, Nabila. And thank you for all your support today. Nabila and I live overseas and we've relied heavily on Auntie and Uncle to do a lot of the preparation. And today would not be what it was if it were not for Auntie and Uncle. They were here until 2 a.m. yesterday, getting this place as nice as it is. Um, so as a token of our gratitude, Auntie and Uncle and Mum and Dad for your generous financial contribution, Nabila and I would like to gift you with these flowers. And I think both sets of parents is end of a round of applause. Okay, I, uh, my speech is coming to a close, you'll be happy to hear. But before it does, I would like to address my new wife, Nabila. Usually when you introduce your new wife in the UK, people clap. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, so I, I want to start by thanking Nabila for today. Nabila did most of, in fact, Nabila, she did everything. I didn't do anything. I, I had to do two things, turn up and give this speech. <laughs> 
and I'm doing the latter very, very badly. But thank you for today, Nabila. It's, be, it's been perfect in my opinion. I think the food has been delicious. I think the decorations were tasteful. I think the venue was lovely and the gowns were beautiful. You look stunning. My one criticism I've got is I think you could have done a whole lot better with your choice of groom. <laughs> I was hoping at least one person would say, no, no way, Neil, she couldn't do better than you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, but seriously, uh, Nabila, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at all at your accomplishments. Nabila doesn't like to boast, but I'm going to do it for her. Yeah, I'm going to boast, yeah. Nabila came into university in the fourth year, and, which is the most difficult and the most stressful. Despite that, Nabila graduated with a first class, a distinction. She then won a prestigious international scholarship to study at King's College London, where she not only obtained yet another first class, but she won the award for the best research prize. You, you really are the most amazing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Keep, I'm going to lift off my achievements in a second, so. Uh, um, now, you, you really are the most beautiful, amazing, smartest person I know and I'm so honoured to now be able to call you my wife. You're my best friend, you're my motivation, you're my inspiration, you're my everything. And to quote a former British Prime Minister, my greatest achievement, as Callum's already mentioned, is to get my wife to marry me. And that's the way I feel about you. Uh, before I close, I'd also like to make a few mentions to our very handsome and very great MC team. To our magician, our musician in the corner. Rafi Raf and Brian. Yep, get off your phone Rafi, I'm talking. Can we welcome everyone to come and stand around in the front as the bride and groom have their first dance as a couple?